Uh, Taylor Ryan is from 10 News First and is live in Sydney. Taylor, thank you for joining us. What can you tell us about what's happening there right now? It's just gone 7 o'clock in the evening. It has, and this shopping centre behind me remains a crime scene tonight. It's going to remain that way for quite some time, I imagine. It was just after, or just around 4 o'clock when the first reports came through that multiple people had been stabbed inside the Westfield. We now know that tragically five people have died here today. They were just innocent shoppers going about their day. It's actually the first day of school holidays here. So it was a very busy afternoon here at Bondi Junction in Sydney's eastern suburbs when this rampage took place. Now we have heard that uh, a female police officer confronted the attacker uh, while he was in the middle of trying to attack innocent people and she had to fire her weapon by shooting him dead. Witnesses have told us that she uh, most definitely prevented more people from being hurt or killed in this incident. There are several people tonight that remain in hospital uh, with serious and critical injuries, one of which uh, has injuries is a nine month old baby that we understand was stabbed multiple times. Truly horrific details that are coming through here. And we've heard some pretty harrowing accounts from witnesses and those people that had to really run for their lives from this man who, by the looks of things, was not going to be stopped until that police officer stepped in. Very brave police officer there. Taylor, um, just tell us how this has unfolded, how people are reacting to this, because we know uh, some of the detail of this, but there's a lot more and many more questions to be asked, of course. Oh, absolutely. You know, at the moment, we just know the very, very bare minimum of details. We know that at this stage, police say they don't have any indication of who this man was or what his motive may have been. You know, scenes like this, we're simply not used to seeing in Sydney. It's not something that uh, people here would have ever expected to happen in this shopping centre and people are still very much coming to terms with the gravity of the situation and what they've had to face here today. Police will update us again tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get some more details from them then about what possibly led to this man making you know, such an act of violence here this afternoon. Presumably you've been talking to eyewitnesses and various people who have, have seen this or seen the aftermath of this. What have they been telling you? What sort of stories have, have been coming out about this horrific incident, Taylor? We've heard from people that had to shelter inside uh, retail shopping stores. Uh, they simply ran into the nearest place that they could find that was a safe shelter. Um, there was 20 or 30 people crammed into the back room of tiny little retail shops as staff quickly tried to pull down the shutters and, and turn the lights off and just keep people safe. You know, we spoke to one woman who was in the back of a cosmetic store with her two daughters. And while they were locked down, they were watching live the CCTV, the security camera vision from inside the shopping center was on the monitor that they could see. So they were watching it all unfold while they were in the back room, truly terrified. And it's when they heard the gunshots that things really became, you know, even more scary for them. Uh, Cause at that stage, they didn't know if it was police firing the gunshots or if it perhaps this man was armed with more than a knife. So people tonight that have been emerging, we've seen them crying. We've seen people comforting each other. A lot of people, you know, really have been through a, a harrowing experience here this evening, something that they'll uh, have to live with now. Um, tell me a little bit about uh, the area, about the shopping centre. We're familiar with Westfield. That's a brand that we have in the United Kingdom uh, as well. Uh, just tell us what, what, I mean, this is just a typical Saturday afternoon, people out uh, shopping, enjoying their time, leisure time. You say the first day of the holidays, uh, school holidays as well. I mean, this is a very typical uh, Saturday afternoon. Just tell us about the area, about the kind of place Westfield is in that area. So this area, I think a lot of people in the UK would know um, Bondi Beach. It's not far down the road from where we are now. It's a it's a very leafy, beachy side of Sydney. It's you know it's a beautiful place to live, and there's plenty of families and schools in this area. Like I said, it's the first day of school holidays, so a lot of families were out. It was a beautiful autumn day here today, sunny, 25 degrees. Yeah. People were out enjoying their weekend, and they should have been safe. Yeah, and Taylor, um, what, what happens now? I mean, you say the police are going to update you tomorrow, but we don't know. There's nothing public anyway and nothing that anybody's been able to find out about this attacker, about his motivations, why he did it, uh, what, the, what the reasons were. Uh, there must be rampant speculation in Sydney at the moment in terms of what, what could be behind this. Yes, that will all form part of what we call a critical incident investigation now. Uh, they will look into this man, what his motive may have been. At this stage, police say they were not aware of him and so it's very unclear what he was trying to achieve here today. We know that they're not ruling anything out as motive. We've seen the counter-terrorism police here 
they have to do an investigation too. We have to get to the bottom of how this could happen, what led to this event. And of course, you know, we have to think of the families here that have now been forever affected by this incident. Um, Taylor, thank you very much indeed. That's Taylor Ryan, who is from 10 News First, live in Sydney. Uh, we're going to go live to a press conference in just a minute that is happening. Anthony Albanese, who is the um, Prime Minister of Australia, is speaking, as is, I think, the Police Commissioner. Uh, we'll come to that as soon as we can. But just to remind you the details of this story, five people have been killed. Several are in a critical condition, as we've been hearing there, hearing there from Taylor Ryan, including a baby after stabbings at a shopping centre near Bondi Beach in Sydney. And the attacker apparently acted alone. He's been shot dead by a female police officer who confronted him on her own. The authorities said they don't know who the suspect is nor the motive of the attack but confirmed there is no longer a threat apparently and uh, we've heard from the Assistant Police Commissioner um, we're hoping to hear from Anthony Albanese who is the Prime Minister of Australia who's giving a press conference just at the moment. We will hopefully come to that in just a minute.